Hello everybody, oh fuck me, that was a bit loud, sorry, hello everybody, how are you doing? Nice to see you, thank you very much for joining me, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and we have finally got another Monday Night Live, I'll talk about things in a little bit more detail, but first of all, I've got my colour balances all off, I'm a little bit red, I've noticed that one, that needs to change, but you know, what can we do, we'll see, we'll see how we get on, I'll fanny around a little bit later on. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time, then what we're going to do is just spend the first 10 minutes saying hello to people in the chat. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got some new, we've got new software running now. We've got a whole bunch of different things. It's going to have a different look uh, once I'm joined by our very good looking Scotsman. If he can't make it, Mark, are we popping along? Um, and jobs are fucking good. Um, but we'll see how we get on. So if you're watching this on replay, just fast forward 10 minutes and uh, hopefully it will all be fine and dandy but i'm gonna have a little look in the chat see who's see who's kicking around in there and start throwing out some shout outs let me just move my little chat windowy thing so it's a bit bigger and i can do some cool stuff on this this new software situation so hopefully let's have a little go so all right evening dean uh, here we go look i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little a little thing boosh so there we go <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much, Viv. Um, maybe I should do this for all the patrons. Just do a little kind of a thing. But what we'll do is we'll have a little, we'll put your questions out and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, how are we doing, Viv? Nice to see you over there in sunny Coventry. Sorry for having to look away on the, uh, on the old camera while I'm trying to see these comments. But you know, what can you do? Um, uh, you're looking good in red. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Bassier Man says Chris Bowman. Absolutely. Charles Searle missed you. Absolutely. This, this chat is even quick. <laughs> it seems even angrier than the normal chat, but <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Um, right. So, uh, where, where did I get to? Charles missed you. Missed you too. Don't forget to let me know where you're from. I do like that very much indeed. Otto is from Sydney. Thank you very much indeed for welcoming me back. Hi Dean from Iceland says Billy the Kid. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, hi bro. Good to see you back. Thank you. Flying Sumo. Uh, Hazazita. Greetings from uh, Virginia. I couldn't get words out. This is nothing new. Good to see you. Um, uh, Abdad D. Hey, Dean. Shout out from South Africa. Hello to you. Uh, Vapor Biker. Hi from Stephen Helen in rugby. My favourite, my favourite uh, couple that watch. Look, every week, every week. Well, when I'm when I'm live. But um, thank you very much for joining me, you two. Uh, what else have we got? James McDonough hopes all's well. Thank you very much indeed. Hi, Dean from Tunbridge Wells, says Dave Ape. Um, uh, Foxer24 says hello. Uh, Dean, cool shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind. Um, I stole it off a, off a bolter friend of mine about five years ago, and it still kind of fits. Um, evening, Mr. Biker, says Lee T. Glad you're back, says Echo Dub. Jay Jerry, hey, how you doing? Um, JTH Reviews. Church. What? <laughs> James McDonough is in London. Teus uh, is in the house. Nice to see you, Teus. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, Lois is in the house. All troubles in here now. Nice to see some four percenters in the house already. Mike Nuttall, Steve G, Andy Fairchild, uh, Vaping Noah, Craig from Craig Higg Higginbotham um, from Hull Beach. Um, what else we got? Hi, Dean. Hope you are. Well. Thank you very much. Chris Easton, Geronimo Galagos. Hello, Dean from Colorado. Uh, glad Todd. Todd didn't tie you and put you in the shed. <laughs> He wishes. Um, what else have we got going on? Johan Holstrom, the boy is back in town. Thank you very much indeed. Neil Nula, hello, hey all, hey Dean. Denmark, nice to see you, buddy. Uh, what else have we got? Neil Wright, good to see you back. Thank you very much indeed. Um, so good to have back. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Viv just saw a, well, <laughs> I, there's about a 30 second delay, by the way. From what I see, um, I've got another camera for what Todd sees, which is where it gets a little bit awkward, but there is about a 30 second delay. Anyway. Welcome back, says Dino. All right, Dino, I'm going to give you a little bit of a boof up. There you go. That's better than a fist bump any day of the week, isn't it? Um, <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, but nice. One of the nicest people on the planet is young Dino. So if you ever see him, go and say hello. Uh, I'm going to move this screen over here just so I can 
kind of there we go right now what else have we got going on here uh chris bowman nerda projects no nope. uh dave childs evening thank you very much indeed alex mckenzie's in the house uh don't never uh finally got my mitts on abyssium uh but <laughs> <laughs> Can't say the name of my own product. On the Bassium, <laughs> got it glued to my hand. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Carlos Pickstar, good evening from Johannesburg. Uh, about effing time, welcome back. Thank you very much indeed. Hi, Dean from sunny Liverpool, says Graham. Um, uh, Vote Biker, good evening from my holiday address in Denmark, says DNNS84. Baz Kelderman, glad you're back. Thank you very much indeed. Michael Donne, uh, thank you very much. Nice to see you again as well, sir. Uh, what else we got? Johan has said hello to you. Tess has said hello to you. Daniel Thornton, hi from Dalkeith, Dean. Uh, glad, glad to see you feeling better. Thank you very much indeed. Or Church, uh, Dark Side Vapes. Dark Side Vapes is from Portsmouth, so nice to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Stevie G, California. Uh, Charles Seal is Georgia. Dustin Vapen, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Johan here, uh, saying hello to Teos. Um, Hallie Downs, uh, shout out from Memphis. Alrighty. Hey, I tell you, just because you're giving me a shout out, I'll give you a shout out as well. How's that? Do you like those apples? Jobs are good. And right. Uh, Jules Kilcrick, Gilcrest from Richmond, VA, 4%, 4% representing. Absolutely. Uh, M16 skills. Hi, Dino. Greetings from the dark side. Dank solely. Oh, the dark dank. I just added the side in there because that seemed that seemed funky. Um, what else we got? Uh, Chris Bowman, North Carolina. Lynn Church is in here. Good evening, Dean and everyone. Says Pav G. Bob Catterall. Hello from North Germany. All right, Bob. How you doing? Uh, cool light, Dean. Favorite channel. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, what else we got? Hi from Blackburn, Lancashire. Says the vaping junkie, Jim. Old uh, money a mickle makes a muckle. Well, there we go. Who who would think I'd get that right first time? <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? Um, Sudbury says hello, says Pav. <laughs> hey, Sudbury's not far away, is it? I think have I spoken to you before about this, Pav? Is it is, is Sudbury's near the near the uh, that place that kind of does the the the, the wonky buildings, isn't it? If I do that, how's that? That's kind of oh, I, I think. That, might take a little bit. No, that's worse. That's worse. There we go. Well, well fuck it. We'll worry about it later. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, Vapor Junkie from Blackburn. Greetings from the ever-drying out North Carolina, Dean. Um, glad to know it's drying out. Um, uh, good to have you back. Thank you very much indeed. Alti Viking. Hey, Dean. Uh, Dan from Nebraska. All right, Dan from Nebraska. How are you doing? James Donner. Um what else have we got going on here? Michael Donner, Sven, Sven W, is that Luxembourg? Lower Saxony, Germany? No, Luenberg. Luenberg, is that right? Unless you've, you've, I doubt you wouldn't have typed your own place wrong, would you? Um, Alex Phipps from Michigan. Craig DeWall from, uh, he doesn't say. Uh, Jared Garrett, hello Dean, Tennessee here. All right, fella, how you doing? Um, Raj is in. All right, Raj. Nice to see you. Glad to see you back. He's in Cheshire. Uh, Lynn Smith is over in Swansea. Hey, Dean from Sunny Dunstable, says Jibby Jeffs. Jesper Anderson says hello from Denmark. Uh, Adnan is from Bosnia. Hello to you. Uh, what else have we got? Stephen Marshall from Tennessee. Warner Pinkton from Germany. Um, there we go. I'm going I'm to do that one. Pav G. It's giving a shout out to all the Suffolk UK vapors. Fucking right too. Um, shout <laughs> uh, Good evening, Dean. Uh, really good to see you well. Thank you very much indeed, Kevin Mann. Uh, where we got Jim from York. I imagine Jim from York is from York. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make that leap of a stretch of a, of a thought and jobs are good. And right. Um, uh, love the Monday Night Live, bro. Keep it up. Thank you very much indeed. Foxer24, Chris Bowman, Hurricane in the East, USA. Hope everybody is okay. Absolutely. The weather has been a bloody nightmare, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Just, it's been, it's been shit. And, uh, yeah, anybody that's affected in America or China or anywhere else that these crazy tornadoes and cyclones and various other things are going crazy at, please, please do stay safe. Earl Spencer's in. Um, 
Hello, Al. Nice to see you. Got to go back to work shortly. Um, David Mottram's in. All right. How you doing? DB Squonks from Columbus, Ohio. Um, Scott Bogfoot is in. Alex McKenzie says everybody hit that like button. Thank you very much indeed. Antonio, Antonio Rice Alves. Um, hello from Portugal, he says. And hello to you as well, sir. Uh, right. Good. I think now there's a bunch of people that I've not got to, and I'm sorry if I haven't, but I would be doing this all bloody night oops that was probably unpleasant for headphone users now then yes so uh we've got some different stuff going on i'm going to bring on mark maybe a touch early because i've got really a whole heck of a lot to talk about mainly because i've had stuff in over the last couple of three weeks however long it's been since we've done a monday night live but i cannot for the life of me um uh remember um what I've told you that I've got. So we're going to have a quick breakdown and I'll, I'm, I'm not going to use a secondary camera or anything like that. We're going to keep it nice and quick and short just so we can get to talking about general stuff. But uh, before we do that, just to let you know that um, obviously I've not been around for a while. I'm not going to go into it. I've told all the patrons about it. Um, it's been mainly health issues. I was going to come on last week and get, get things going on a Monday Night Live thing, but literally during that month, I think it was during that Monday or was it Sunday night um, uh, I had a family emergency and that all was quite shaky and a bit worrying for a little while so that kind of put me out for the large portion of last week however I'm very very pleased to um, say that I'm back which is nice uh, I've done a bunch of filming we've got I've done I'm so so looking forward I hoped it was going to be ready today but it's not so it's going to be out tomorrow but I've got the the review for the purge slam piece and um and I went and 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 recorded that somewhere that I thought was a bit sexy and I, I've kind of I've, I've I've got an idea of certain things I want to play with when it comes to the uh the 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 review side of things uh because as I've said before I'm not going to be a five a day a five a week um reviewer so when i do put sort of the the couple out that i'm planning to do every week i want to make them a real you know a little bit more epic and so that hopefully is what we're starting to see on this next review but uh, i would have had it done today but the problem was where i filmed it they had fluorescent lights and i didn't get it right with my um shutter speed so it's flickery as hell so uh i i spent i've spent a large portion of today trying to fix that and I've still not fixed it but I've ended up masking and doing various things that makes it better and less likely to induce epilepsy in anybody watching so that's you know fingers crossed that's what we that's what we do so jobs are good and so I'm really looking forward to getting that one out that will be out tomorrow so keep your eyes open for that one even if you're not a mech person I'd really I really appreciate your feedback on the uh, uh, on the video as a whole I think now then Legion Vapes is in um uh, uh, crap, I missed a start. Well, you're here now. That's the main thing. Um, uh, biker, did you like the FP tank? No, I've not, I didn't agree to it because I don't, I never agree to any tanks. I never agree to any tanks. Occasionally I'll get a tank come through, like one that I'll talk about tonight. Um, and it comes through as kind of unsolicited stuff because you guys know that very, very rarely will I do a review on a tank. And I just, I can't be chewed on. I, I don't really like tanks and um and so i don't i don't really review them um but every now and again one will trickle through without kind of checking first and i'll try it out and a, a lot of the most of them i don't bother talking about because i'm not really a huge fan but every now and again something comes up where i think this this is something that i really want to make a video on so um yeah occasionally that happens but no generally i turn or down all tanks so there you go um, are you going to review the Kennedy Vindicator 21700 Mech Mate? Um, and what I might do is I might, is I might put the, put the questions up like that. What do we think of that? Do we think that's a cool little thing to do when you ask a question? I think that might be kind of cool. Um, so, uh, are you going to review the Kennedy Vindicator 21700? No, I haven't got it. I haven't got it. I don't know if that's the one that Mark's got. We can ask him in a little while. But uh, but no, I haven't got it. So no plans to on my side. Now then, what else have we got going on here? Um, now, 
new stuff that's come in. So, uh, like I said, I can't really remember what I've told you about. So I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do rather than just going through like a mail time thing. My patrons are probably more aware of what I've got in than, than, than I am. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I'm vaping on. That way, you've kind of got a generally, generally good idea about what's happening. I think I think you got. Am I loud enough, by the way? Should I turn that up a little bit? There we go. Just turn that up a wee bit and hopefully that helps. Now then, so stuff that I'm vaping on. So I am vaping on the uh, the Purge Slam piece. I've got the Death Trap sitting on top of there at the moment. Um, thought it looked a little bit a little bit like a robot's dick with the uh with the with a sort of a, a, a thick and chunky dripper on it but uh, but no it's kind of cool really enjoying that one like i say video out on that one tomorrow I've already done a review on the death trap rda so you can go back and check that but it is a big beast not quite as as punchy as I expected, but it's certainly it's certainly not bad, and uh, I'll be able to tell you more tomorrow when you see the review. What else have we got going on? So I've got the uh, I've got the I've got the uh, what is it? The profile on top of this green bastion right here, and I want to talk to you about this because this is something that I think is is truly stunning. In fact, we'll come back to this in a minute because I want to get Mark's take on this because I think this is very cool. Um, we've also got uh, I'm running from I. Put pictures on Instagram of this, I think, the other day. Uh, the Asmodus slash Ultrona EOS 2. I'm rocking one of those at the moment with an RDA on the top of it. What's the RDA called? I can't remember. Uh, the Vice RDA. Ah, these are the these are the vape porn people. So I'm running running these two in dripper mode at the moment. It's got this kind of stab wood vibe going on there, and I think that looks pretty sexy. The black um, RDA sitting on top of there looks pretty lovely. One of the things that I'm not super pumped about with this RDA is the fact you've got a big old gold band going around there. And uh, I know a lot of people didn't like the big old gold band when it came to the Bonza, um, and this is way bigger. So this one's way more intrusive. But uh, but no, as far as that goes, um, it's you know it, I've got to spend some time. My, my battery life's dead. I've got to uh, spend some time um, with these. Now, a couple of my patrons did say to when I because I I've still have done unboxings for those guys. Um, a couple of the patrons have said that the the resistance has been a bit jumpy on one that they've seen. I think it was Grim that had one that was a bit jumpy. Um, not an issue that I've had with this one. I've got to say. But seems to be doing the trick quite nicely. Now I've also got a tank here. Um, what tank is that? This is a this is a this is one of them mesh kind of tank things. I think um, this is the Alpha by Geek Vape. Once again, this is one of those ones that I didn't agree to. It just kind of rocked up. And um, you know, as far you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I'm not a mesh fan whatsoever. But uh, but with this one. It's not the worst tank, and we'll, we'll talk about mesh when we go onto that profile with Mark. But um, it's not the best. But I've I've been vaping it quite a lot, and I don't know whether that's just because it's been on there and it's been easy, or if it's be because I've quite enjoyed it. I, it's not. There's one stupid thing about this one. Can you see the size of that drip tip? Okay, now look, just just look at this for a second. Um, I don't know if this is going to focus, but that is the drip tip. That is a big fucking drip tip, okay? And the hole in it is tiny. It's 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 tiny. I mean, the uh, the then this is something I don't understand. I don't understand why people are so kind of excited about getting a uh, a massive drip tip. The hole size is six point eight millimeters. The uh, the outside top, or the, sorry, the inside, the very top is just about 15 millimeters so we've got what did i say eight millimeters no 6.8 millimeters and then at the top it goes out to 15 mil um which then means that the outer circumference is actually 18 mil which is why do you why 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 do you need 18 millimeters of hole in your mouth <laughs> when the only hole you need is six why someone tell me but um if anyone uh, if anyone comes up with that one I, I i would love to hear it so i hate i despise the drip tip with a passion but the tank is kind of funky and it does it does this you know it's got a, it's got a button on it 
so you press the button poof <laughs> it's gimmicky aff but I need some more juice in there but it's a kind of I, you know it, if, for those people that have gone do you know what unscrewing my tank or sliding it to 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 to, to fill it up is just too much work it's just too hard what i need is i need to be able to press a button and it flip open well now there's a tank especially for you so you know jobs are good um it's a little bit funky looking to be fair but uh but no it's a thing it's a thing it's there uh now what else have we got on another green bassium i've got the um hermetic the Hermetic RDA from Suck My Mod. And uh, is it Bliss? No. Who is it? I can't remember. Um, Blitz. Blitz Enterprises. And to be honest with you, I have been rather enjoying this with a 510 drip tip. That was until I dropped the mod. It landed on top of the drip tip and the 510 um, adapter just smashed to bits. Stuck the, the, the 510 drip tip right in there and uh, I had to hit it with things to get it out. So I've now got an 810 back on here again. But uh, no, it's 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 been an interesting one. It's not quite what I expected from Mr. From Mr. Cully over there. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, that's that's been an interesting one. I've got way more testing to do on that before a review comes out now that one of the few last things that i've got um i have got from his modus um this little puppy which is their which is their little pod system and i can't remember the name of it the flow that's what it's called the flow um and it's you know it's a refillable pod system it it kind of, i don't understand why it doesn't leak you can't see but in between those two contacts there you can see your coil and I can't wrap my head around why there's not juice all over the fucking show. But there isn't. It's not quite a tight mouth to lung that I'd really, really like. But it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's like a crazy restricted lung here, you know. But, uh, but no, there you go. If I try and lung it. You can do it, um, but uh, but no, there you go. Now the Asmodus people did as well do something very very nice indeed. They sent me sent me a little a sharpy little fucking and that look a Damascus steel bladey thing. That's been pretty bloody special, um, and it kind of it kind of, I don't know whether it's intentional to kind of match the Eltrona mod, but it kind of does. And uh, but it, this this blade is crazy sharp. But uh, that was very nice of them to send me that. Anyway, now. Um, what shall I do? <laughs> uh, oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Right. Stick with me for a second there, gang, because there is something that I think is worth showing. I do think this is worth showing you. Um, and that is, I'm already concerned that it might be a really messy desk. That's not worked. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to turn th things on and off again. Hold on. I'm all about the bloody. Why is the same camera error? Ah, right, okay. Right, hold on, hold on. It's going to be totally worth it. It's my own fault. It's absolutely my own fault. One hundred percent. No, well, it's not. It's it's not working. It's not working. It's honestly, these look these fucking technology things. Ah, no. What? Uh, see, no. This should be something you would imagine a decent vape reviewer would do prior to doing a live stream, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? But uh, but that would clearly be too easy. No, I've got a camera error. That's it's just not playing. So, who just gave me a thumbs down? Bastard. Right, so let me just we'll 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 do this the old fashioned way. We'll do this the old fashioned way. So, what I wanted to talk about, and uh, we'll get Mark on shortly, is this profile RDA because with this profile RDA, um, this this has these kind of weird strips. I think I've got. Did I have the? I do. 
So for those, I'm sure, I'm sure pretty much everybody watching knows what these are all about. But uh, rather than coils, it has these kind of strip affairs, which I imagine, you know, uh, uh, so these little puppies instead of instead of a coiling material. And with this, that is what you put in the thing. It looks like a little razor blade. It does look like a little razor blade. But I'm using that in... I'm going to focus. Go on, just for me. I'm using that in in this profile RDA. Now I have re-wicked once since I've had this, and once only, and that's that's it. That's as far as that that has gone. Now when I say I've re-wicked it only once, I have managed to put through there. That's a little bit on the on the scary close side, isn't it? I have managed to put through there some of this basic e-liquid. Now I told you guys about this. I think it was on the last vlog. Um, and this basic stuff comes from Liquid Barn in the States. And essentially what you do is you buy a base mix. So you choose your nicotine level. Annoyingly, they sent me zero, but you do choose your nicotine level. And then you add various percentages of of um, flavoring to it. And Nick Grimm had one of these a little while ago and was super excited about flavor. I have been really enjoying the Re-Up Red Delight, which has been absolutely superb. And this stuff... I've gone through this whole thing. There is like a, a dribble, a dribble in the bottom. You can't even see it on the camera, but it's just like there. Um, and that whole tube, pretty much all of it, has gone through that RDA. And the state of the, the, the cotton and the coils, all the coil material mesh stuff, amazing, amazing. Absolutely blown away by that. I think that's bloody marvellous. So I don't know if it's if it's just, I mean, it must be super clean juice, but also the way that the uh, that mesh thingy works must be pretty good. Now, the one thing that I have had with this, today I had a, uh, a real bastard of a dry hit, a monster of a dry hit, and it was possibly the worst thing on earth. Um, but, uh, but no, that happened. Otherwise... As far as RDAs go, it's all right. As far as mesh RDA go, RDAs go, it's bloody marvellous. So that's kind of where we're going on that one. No, hang on, I'm just going to straighten up my camera. Um, so yeah, as far as RDAs in general, it's all right. But as far as mesh goes and that kind of vibe, this is without a doubt the top of the bunch in my opinion. So now then. Now, fucking then, I think that's everything that I needed to cover. Um, I am going to bring in, I am going to bring in Mr. Mark Todd. Da 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 da! Have you unmuted yourself on your microphone? Well, I would. <laughs> I, 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 I was watching the YouTube thing, and the YouTube thing's like behind, and I. Didn't know. I'm sorry. He did have a smile. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> got to do a little, little. Uh, 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 what, what side am I on? Am, am I? Am I? It's on am your I right. Mistake? It's on your oh, right. Oh, little oh. bit further back. Oh, 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 too far. Too far. There we go. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. We've got to get that sus. We can just go. Yeah, high five. High five. <laughs> um, right. Anyway. Thank you very much for coming back and uh, and and coming on. Uh, we haven't really spoken a lot since I've been unwell in a miserable shit bag. So, um, hey, there, bloody there, hell there is a connection there. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> a connection. So, how the hell are you? What's happening? What's going on? Do, do people know how fucking miserable you are when you're miserable? Nope, I don't think they do. I am a, a proper. <laughs> Proper grumpy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back, my friend. It's good to have you back. Um, what's it, it, you needing any hints, tips, advice, and on, on what to do here? My colour like, balance is a bit off. <laughs> well, hang on. I'll I'll, I'll ask somebody. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's um, oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was just screwing a natty back in. Um, what's been occurring? Um, um, I've, I've just been I've just been doing the same old shit since you've been sitting with your feet up watching daytime telly. Um, just uh, putting out videos for my mum and dad. Um, and uh, and that's about it. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, somebody's. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I've just seen a, a comment in chat. Andreas, well chuffed. Um, sorry, there's something really funny about a German saying well chuffed. Just... <laughs> anyway, um, I did see in chat, so, uh, and you mentioned that you were asking uh, the, the Vindicator 21. Um, did I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Kennedy thing. Yes. Um, M16 skills, is it? Yeah. Is it? Um, uh, yes, I do have one, and yes, there'll, there'll be a review for it on Friday, I think. It's already up, if you know where to look. Uh, but um, I love it. I'm, I'm really surprised by how much I like the Kennedy. Yeah. Um, I, I really didn't think it was going to be my thing, but um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, I just remember the Kennedy from the, the three post days, um, and, I, and, I, and I wasn't really that bothered about it, but it's, I did enjoy it, really enjoyed it. And the mod is... It's as good as uh, you could hope a mech mod could be, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, it, um, yeah. It's. Uh, I, I, I'll be growing a beard next. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, um, I just had a really good idea. Carry on. Uh, what, what else? What else? Um, nothing really exciting. I got. Um, I won a raffle. I won a raffle. Um, I. Uh, I don't know if you remember. I had um, I had the prototype for this thing. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had the prototype, and then they sent me on the the retail version, and then uh, <laughs> they had a, a raffle on their Facebook page. So <laughs> I, I bought two tickets just for shits and giggles. I've just amused. I've just told my shits and giggles. I've just amused the fuck out of myself. Carry on. No, 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 uh, and, and, and I won. Ah, ah, bloody won. So I've got I've got another one here. Um, so uh, another. Neo 60. Uh, that'll be going up for a charity raffle very, very soon. Excellent. Um, and, and and lots of other toys. I got uh, a present today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another charity raffle was for the... The last one was for the Hellfire Cobra. Uh-huh. Um, we raised a couple of grand for that. And um, the Hellfire guys found out that I had raffled my one off. Yeah. So they sent me a brand new one today. Oh, excellent! That's really cool. So that that was that was uh, yes. I was rather emotional when I opened that, um, and I, I and I made the mistake of uh, of doing that during my vlog. So oh. I've been getting the piss taken out of me. I'm going to have to watch uh, that now. No, I don't. It's really boring. But uh, <laughs> um, but uh, and. Um, Still tooting away with the Orion, uh, which I'm. I'm still. I mean, I see there's there's loads of reviews out for it now. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a crack. Is it a pod? Yeah, it's a pod, I suppose. Uh, but it's it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. I like it a lot. Excellent. And I'll I'll shut up now because I've I've bored myself. No, no, not at all. I was listening, but I was I was doing something quite funny in the background. But um. That, and, don't that, you worry. That's okay. I'm the same when you're talking. In my head, I'm I'm like in my car or <laughs> or I'm walking the dog. I've got other shit going on. But just <laughs> but no, it was it, 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 it. Yes, people in chat seem to like it. Um, you, you'll be able to see it on playback. <laughs> I can't. The thing I can't see chat now because I don't. I can't see chat because I've got to look it up your nose. On this camera angle, uh, and, uh, see now that you look at that. I'm looking at so you there. So strange. <laughs> <laughs> see, the problem is, gang, is that I, this is the camera that Mark sees, so that's going to be a little bit confusing. But um, I've, it needs to be kind of up, really, somewhere where uh, everything else is. But it's a, it's a rather avant-garde angle at the moment, so you know he has to deal with that. Um, Yes, well, if you'd have, if you'd have seen it on the YouTube feed, <coughs> it made me giggle greatly. Um, but <laughs> and uh, Mr. Mottram just says, "Faith and Biker, that was genius. Thank you very much indeed." And Mark won't have any idea about it until later. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that. That's sh- not right. I'm, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's not uh, funny when you're not in the joke. 
Aye. If you don't know, it's not funny. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Bamford, it's all right for you and 299 other people taking the piss. <laughs> in, about, in about 20 seconds, you'll see it if you look at the YouTube stream. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's the little things that just make me happy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not even looking because it'll just. You just. If that Mottram's involved, it's going to be something wrong. <clears throat> that's me. That's um, oh, for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! You're <laughs> such a. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, just. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, <laughs> have you got that out your system now? Well, maybe. <laughs> are we going to we're going to do some vaping stuff. I I don't want I don't want to be dad. I really don't. But, I mean, people have expectations, you know? They do. You're right. This is, this is a serious vape-related chat. It is. It is. You are absolutely correct. Um, Fuck. And that's, you know, I, I, I promise I'll keep it very serious from now on. Um, <laughs> hey. um, <laughs> uh, so, this profile RDA with the mess yes. business going on, you got one. Tell me what your thoughts are on it. It's the, it's the best mesh atty that I've come across, and that that's even the the, the Typhoon BT, um, uh, everything I've tried mesh related. It is the best one. Yeah. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's not. I mean, don't get me wrong. Still comparing it to a, a standard RDA, it's it's <laughs> the flavour still isn't. As good, but it's the best mesh one I've come across. I completely agree. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. And and what do you think about that juice situation that I showed you? Going through sixty mil of juice on that on that one mesh coil thing, um, and it's still being clean as a clean as a whistle. Um, it doesn't really. St- um, did you have to change the cotton out much? Once. Once, yeah. It and I didn't surprise. have to then. I just I was getting that kind of pre um, pre uh, uh, dry hit stuff, you know. And I was trying to explain this to, to to the patrons the other day that you know when you get just before you get a dry hit, you get that kind of almost metallic or kind of spiky bit at the back of your throat, and you go, "Oh, this yeah. is gonna this is gonna go nasty." Um, I was getting that situation going on if I was having a kind of a, a, a reasonably long hit. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just take out, cause I, I went out to go and do, have a pre-production meeting about something that I'm filming. And, um, I, I thought I don't, I didn't want to risk getting a dry hit, but I wanted to test the atomizer. So I just threw another bunch of cotton in there and, um, and it's, that's all I've done. And it's, but yeah. it's crazy stupid clean for a really sweet juice as well. I thought that was quite impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, I, to be honest, I don't. I, it's different. I mean, like things like um, like that's a, a proper Genesis atomizer. I mean, I'm using a a stainless steel mesh wick in that. Yeah, I'm putting the and, camera on you now, look, because I can do that. Uh, it's it's it, oh, boo, that kind of thing. I there don't know. If it'll focus. Yeah, uh, but I mean, back in the day, and and people like that um, Muppet. Mottram, what's his face? Uh, <laughs> uh, he'll not. He'll possibly agree with me. Yeah. But um, a, a mesh wick could last forever. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's kind of like a fine wine; it gets better with age. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that relates to using it as a heating element, though. That's yeah. the, that's the only thing. Yeah. 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 I just I I um, one of the things I was surprised about with this with this profile thing was I'm rocking it at 66.6 watts obviously. Um it's a 0.18 and normally you have to throw a fuck ton of of power through anything mesh related to to get that as an element to 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 heat up properly and get a decent vape for it. But this just seems to be it seems to behave more like a regular coil. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's it's a it's a lot thinner strip 
of me- well, I think it's a thinner strip of mesh that I've seen in any other of the RDAs. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, it's, you know, especially comparing it to like the the BT. I mean, that was a that was a load of mesh in there. Yeah. Um, so that was understandable, given it more power. But yeah. Yeah. Have you tried it with any other mesh? Uh, no, I haven't because every I hate every other mesh. I might have even binned it because I hated it that much. Yeah, uh, uh, something I'll I'll have to do is, is I've got some mesh from other companies and a, a, a reel here. I'll have yeah. to try that and see how it performs. I think you'd struggle to get a decent resistance, to be honest, yeah. because you've only got like a half thing rather than with everything else you're using much more of the material, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. So um, I think that's going to be a, a pain in the bugger. Now. This brings me on to this other thing. You've got this Geek Vape, whatever this tank's called as well, haven't you? I have. I, I, I have one here. Bonk. And once again, mesh. Now, I've got this comes with two different types of coils. One coil is one of those ones with an obscenely huge in of diameter um, to it, which I, I hate. I despise them with a passion. <laughs> Only found with Fat Kids and Peter. I, um, I, I really, really do hate them. But... This one has got two coils in, still mesh, and it, and that's, I think, why I've been enjoying using it, to be honest with you. But what I can't wrap my head around is how they've got a uh, a, a big old resistance on these two little mesh coils. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're, 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 they're probably, what, two and a half, no, three mil ID, yeah. maybe a wee yeah. bit more. Um, but, um, but, yeah, I mean, I think, is it 0.4? Um, which is redonkulous. It's just I can't I can't wrap my head around. Even if it was Canthal, I can't wrap my head around how they've used this mesh material to 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 to, to make that work. Yeah, I honestly don't know. I, I mean, I know these these mesh tanks. I mean, I I put a video up for the the Ogvape one, the the Skynet. Yeah. And for a a sub ohm tank it, it, and a, the mesh. The flavour was fantastic. Uh, it really was good, and it's the same with the the Plexus, the Inican ones. Yeah, uh, maybe not as good as the Skynet, but they, they've come a hell of a long way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I did get. Uh, did you get the new? The I got uh, a weird one. I got the a, a new ple- uh, Plexus kit. Is it Plexus? Uh, the Proton kit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is exactly the same as we had before the mod, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. Yeah. But this is, <laughs> this is spectacular colour-wise. I'm going to share this with people because this, you know, you look at this mod and you go, fuck yes, that's that's got Dean's name all over that one. Um, uh, right, see if we can get that. Right, so we've got white and black. I know it's blowing out a little bit. But what you can't really see is you've got these kind of rainbow stripes going along the sides, which are really kind of mirrored rainbowy kind of color situation and that just i mean you know it's a i think i quite like the original mod i think the review i did on, on it on it on it i said it was quite good but uh but that i mean this this kind of these little bits these colored bits going down the side i think makes it look really cheap really cheap yeah it's oh actually there's <laughs> paul's just saying uh, regarding the the coil head they're in series that's why they're getting that resistance are they really? Yeah. I'm going to have to he's, a very, he's a very knowledgeable chap, actually. He is. He is. Yes. Who said that? Who said that? They deserve, There we go. Paul Paulson, that one. Yeah. Right, there we go. You're getting a shout out, Paul Paulson, just because you got you got something right. Boom. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so how we think, but while we're... Uh, so sort of before we get into the Q and A's, just just let us know in chat what you're thinking about this split screen situation and being able to get the occasional the occasional thing up. When we get some to to the Q and A section, I'll make sure that the questions do go up on the bottom of the screen. But um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this split screen sitch going on. I'm just gutted that for some reason my up top camera isn't working. That's that's annoying. But I'll I'll figure that one out. Um, because I'm quite excited about it, and I think you, it should be a better quality of stream than the normal google hangouts quality i think we should look a little bit sexier <laughs> i i was going to say did, did you get the the digi flavor etna no 
Oh well, that bangles that one then. <laughs> while I was um, while I was poorly, I basically said no to pretty much everything because I, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get back in front of a camera. So, um, so uh, or if I was going to get back in front of the camera. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just have to have to wait and see. Yeah, but, um, well, but no, I haven't got it. No, but it's, well, it's not like they asked me. I mean, they never <laughs> they never ask you. They just send it. Um, what is it? Tell me more. I need to know more. It's just an, uh, I think it's is it eighteen? It's an eighteen millimeter mouth to lung atty that Digi Flavor come up with. It looks. Sorry, did you say eight? Eighteen. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, it does look like it's. I was just. I'm struggling getting any flavor out of it, so I was just curious if you'd got anything out of it. So. Um, Do you want me to and send it down to me, and I'll build it for you? No, get pumped. <laughs> 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 uh, oh look we've got we've got someone saying something nice here look whole mark vapor biker and todd's reviews like the split screen even mark's color balance looks good what see i i tried <laughs> i made the effort absolutely and mark bless his cotton socks even went out and bought a mount for his microphone because i kept giving him shit about it and and we're not talking just shit every once in the blue moon here we're talking Every day we talk, every day we speak, it gets brought up. Absolutely. And, you know, I think it's my job to do that. I think it's absolutely my job to do that. <laughs> Daniel, DJ LSB is in the house. Hello, Daniel. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. <clears throat> now, then, what else we got? Um, sc split screen looks pucker on a 50-inch TV, mate. Quality is spot on. Thank you very much, Pav. Very nice to to know. It's, um, it's a bit whizzy, isn't it? It's a, just, I'm just... I don't know why my uh, my thing is, isn't working. Um, I'm going to quit that and I'm going to open it up again. I'm gonna just going to have one last shot of this just because, you know, what better time is there to do it than when you're live to millions of people on the internet? Here he goes. <laughs> um, uh, I, I was just going to say to Orjan, it's Orjan, uh, Orjan, I keep getting that wrong. Yes, I did try the single hole, buddy, and, and it wasn't any better, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, uh, the vaping junkie is saying, "Have you tried a uh, FPRTA? No, and it will not be one. I will be trying." Um, uh, people keep asking about the Dovepo topside squonker. I uh, watched the video today. That's the wrong one. I've just I've just put me on the screen rather than you. Sorry. Carry on. That's <laughs> all right, buddy. That's all right. Um, if they send one on to review, then I'll, I'll have a gander. I'll have a gander. Um, uh, at 67 Raphael it's always Raphael oh Mr 67 Mr 67 himself oh. is in chat is he yes Mr 67 mods oh very nice too yes why, why See, don't I have one yeah, because you you have to promise to buy him beer ok hey do you want to sorry do, sorry to butt in here but you'll, you're going to like this is going to be totally be worth it you know I couldn't get a picture out of my camera ah uh -huh. If you take the lens cap off, they tend to work a little bit better. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> now I don't. I don't feel so bad about the other day. Now I don't feel so bad about the other day. That's... <laughs> oh, now I've got. I've got a little bit of dual camera action going on now, and fucking. Oh, look, hang on, hang on, hang on. Some of that, some of that. And boosh, triple camera happening right now. I know you can't see it, but it's happening. So there we go. You'll have to let us know in chat if you think that that's going to confuse people way too much or if it's too small for uh, for things to happen. But um, <clears throat> there we go. Anyway, right. Sorry, we were talking about Raphael. Uh, Got to buy him beer. Fair enough. I'm on. But, but no, no, sorry. You have to tell them you're going to buy them beer. Oh, no, actually, you don't yeah. actually have to buy them beer. You oh, just have to tell fucking, them. I'm even better. Man. That's that's marvelous. I'm all in for that one. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. Um, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> right, we've got uh, uh, people taking the piss out of me being bad on the uh, camera. A bit small, absolutely. Um, whose hands are those? Way they're mine. Um, <clears throat> with my new desk, with my new desktop, rather, which I'm very excited about. 
because it's um, it's laminate flooring. But uh, you know, we'll keep that secret just between us. Um, right. So think about getting your questions ready, guys and girls. And uh, when you do ask your questions, um, then make sure you do start them with at vaping biker or at Todd's reviews, and hopefully that will help us see them. If you can put them in uppercase, in capital letters as well. We were. We, I don't know why people on other vape shows or other people on the internet tend not to to like things in uppercase for me it just means you can see it easily so you know let's do that one um what what <laughs> it's because they have eyesight that works <laughs> you could you could be right you could be right <laughs> um oh dear i've got doing all that camera stuff did my little normal thing about getting a bit of a sweat on <laughs> Uh, 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 what we got here there we go it's not really a question but it's more of a, a comment um, we've got Laszlo saying very for Michael Todd's reviews evening gents good to see you Dean back thank you very much indeed very kind of you um, I can't promise that I'm you know I'm not out of the woods when it comes to all the illness related things so I can't promise you know it's it's going to be as good as I hope it to me making plans is always a bad idea um, but uh, but um you know, it's one of those things where hopefully, hopefully, then uh, you'll you'll see a little bit more content coming out uh, <clears throat> that you can count on, you know. Ingvar <laughs> um, uh, says, what shape are you in, biker? Um, short and round, I think, is probably the way to, to say that one. <laughs> uh, uh, um absolutely so viv says will you say happy birthday to matt please it's his 21st ish tomorrow happy birthday matt 21 can you remember no. that far back no i do not <laughs> no me neither <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else have we got going on here shed life big up in the vape sheds okay yeah, yeah look this this is not sheddy this this is proper wood it's not like not that's like, a that's not, a clone get like, away not like that look at that what's that that's not even wood that's <laughs> me i'm sitting in my garden <laughs> yeah don't get much we don't get much shed life in that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 well, I, I just like did, 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 my 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 viewers you know I'm, I'm not like you know i don't get sent lots of fancy stuff i got sent that today ah <laughs> hang on i'm not gonna put the camera just on you there we go <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's how much that's how much Respect I've earned in six and a half years in the vape community. And I think that is truly earned. I think that's uh, that's about as good as you can expect. <laughs> yeah. Mike, if you're here and watching this, thank you very much. Yeah, ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, now then, uh, here we go. Here's a, uh, here's a question. Um, Crypto Mars, Marcius. Um, what would you recommend for a first mech coming from coil building modder? Uh, for a first mech, I think you're going to be hard pushed still to beat for the price to not throw a bunch of money at it. Um, a dreamer because you've got all those battery variations and various other things. Um, but uh, I mean, there's there's so many that you can choose in this day and age. But um, I still really like the dreamer. I really like the button, and uh, it's it's reasonably punchy for what it uh, for what it does. So. What about you, Mr. Mr. T? Have any any thoughts on that one? Uh, out of all the ones that I've tried, that if we're talking this year, then yeah, it probably would be the Dreamer as well. It's um, bang for buck. Um, it's a really good mech. Uh, yeah, I, I'd stick with that as well. Absolutely. Although, obviously, you need to be make sure that you're hybrid safe with your RDA. Yeah. Um, what else, indeed? Uh, oh, what else, indeed? What? Um, uh, liking the new colour choice in the background with the blues, you feeling those? I can change them. I can change them around. So you know that's all good. What else we got going on? Sixty-seven. Um, thanks, Adnan. Uh, what have we got going on here? Anything? Um, uh, <laughs> random. Asking me where my birthday is, but it's in May, so you got a long time to uh, worry about that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I would just like to say to the Funkadelic that he's saying he's got a toilet and his shed, and I would just like to say, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> and on days when you feel like being posh, you move a bucket in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the bucket. I forgot the bucket. Um, <laughs> Um, now, Diddy Wright is asking, Vaping Biker Todd's Reviews, are either of you getting the SQ21700 for review? Um, I don't know. They might give me one when we go to Expo. They, they've kept, they, although they might be out funky with me, I don't know, because they kept, kept offering to give me an SQ, and now uh, I kept forgetting to go back to the stall to, to pick one up in the past. So, I don't know. I've got no plans to, but I, what about you? Um nah i'm not american so i doubt i'll get one <laughs> um, uh, no i mean I, I i reviewed the original when it first came out a long time ago um but now it's i think it's a lot it's a lot more popular in the states now so i think that's where they're they're targeting their sales shall we say yeah yeah i think mike doesn't mike vapes have a website that sells them or am i dreaming that one I think he's yeah because they they flew him over for uh, expo for yeah. um so but I'm oh, quite right to go for it yeah absolutely. um m sixteen um, says oh we've got we've got another thumbs down have I got five thumbs downs on this already um uh Todd try, uh, try a tricore fused in your Vena bro point one eight damn nice vape he called you bro so I imagine he's going to lose some points for that one but um but you know how do you feel about that. Awesome. I'll give it a go, fam. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've actually got my Vena just now. I don't know what's in it. It's uh, you, uh, Peter at PC Coils. Uh, I've got one of his coils in it just now. Uh, and, and it's it's a 0.4 thingamabobber. Uh, and it's it's very, very good. You're on camera uh, at the minute. So do you want to show people the Vena just so so, uh, so they know what it is? That, that's a Vena. It's a Haku engineering mm. it's the people that made the haku and this was their second atty very nice too very nice too um now then there we go move some of that in there uh which is better now then this is an interesting question because it can't be answered shane gibson asks uh which is better the which is the better mod the paranormal dna 250 or the sx mini g class Two completely different styles of boards. So it depends on what you want to do with them. Yeah. I think I've always, I thought Yee Yee boards were always um, great. I really loved them compared to a lot of the older DNA boards, a lot of the older Evolve boards. However, now, particularly with things like the replay function and all that sort of good stuff, I think that the Evolve board, for me personally, edges it forward um, because the the last time I had, was it the, 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 the G-Class? Um, I think when I first got it, I, I couldn't get it out of various functions and stuff, and the menu was a bit weird, and and uh, um, the, just the the DNA just seemed an easier one to use. Plus, you can get more involved with it if you want to, with things like eScribe and all that sort of stuff. So for me, it's a DNA thing, but it's going to be a very personal opinion. What about you? Are you a DNA guy or an S S uh, a Yee guy? Uh when they made the G class, that's that's when I st- I've not touched a, a Yeehi mod or board pretty much since the G class. Right. It's just it's not for me. <laughs> it's just I think they used to be really really good. Uh, I mean the SX three fifty J V one V two loved it, absolutely loved it. But um, yeah, it, they're aiming for a different market than what I like. Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, totally different um, but you know and I think their support is compared to Evolve mm-hmm. uh, you know manuals educational material uh, everything you get from Evolve what you get from Yeehee is is te- I think it's terrible uh, in comparison Evolve uh, does have a good um, forum on their website as well so if people do have issues I think people tend to get answered quite quickly on there I've asked a couple of questions there in the past and I've had a pretty quick rapid response from them so um, I think that's super helpful as well because a lot of people don't use forums these days but they can be crazy helpful yeah absolutely absolutely 
I do miss the forum days. I really do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the Funkadelic fan says hybrids are lethal. No, no, they're not. Um, they, it's, it's, they aren't lethal. It's, it's the people that use them that can be. So, you know, they're, they're fine. Um, when will, <laughs> I'm not putting that on screen, Paul. When will you release the carbon fiber bassium? I'm not. However, this is a nice <laughs> segue. This is a nice segue. Um, however, one of the cool things that you can do, obviously, is go across to Zap Wraps and you can carbon fiber the piss out of your, uh, your bassium if you want to. You can, you can stick carbon fiber all over the bastard. Now then, what I'm going to be doing um, I actually ordered a couple of wraps off them today, which should be with me tomorrow. So I'm going to do a quick video. I've got one um, that's kind of like a red and black kind of, you know, that fiery stab wood look. Um, I've got one coming with that kind of action coming. And another one is just a walnut because I want to camouflage it against my desk. <laughs> just because clearly it's too easy to find things. So... Um, you know, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that, and I'll throw a quick video together, a about what they look like, and b how you install them. So if you did want to uh, to give your bassium a different look for shits and giggles, um, then they they have so many wraps, it's ridiculous. So you can go under over and uh, and check those puppies out. <laughs> I tell you, sorry, just laughing at David Mottram. He's such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Mechs, mechs don't kill people. Mosfets do. <laughs> um, <coughs> I see, I see um, somebody was asking questions about it. Have you seen any of this? <coughs> Are hey, you all right? No, Medic? I'm dying a little bit, but I'm all right. Yep. Crack on. Uh, <clears throat> that's the... the, the there's been a, another reviewer um, put up a video about Mosfets again and there, there was some really good information that, that don't get me wrong uh, but um, about how MOSFETs are terrible and how they catch fire and all this kind of stuff and uh, so that, this seems to be the latest mm -hmm. thing See, that's, that's something that just it winds me up a little bit because a lot of people don't understand how MOSFETs work and also MOSFETs themselves if they're, if they're wired properly, I was building mods years ago with, with MOSFETs like parallel and parallel FETs and, and, uh, for, 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 for parallel unregulated and series unregulated and all that sort of good stuff. Never had a problem. Never had a problem whatsoever. Um, but, you know, some of, some of these, some of these little MOSFET boards that people make, they are tiny. They're getting a lot of stuff inside this little tiny board and things like the five clicks on, five clicks off, whatever else. Um, I think they do, they do encourage a little bit extra voltage drop or a little power drop in my experience. Um, but, you know, I'm always open for being proved wrong on that one. You're wrong. <laughs> proved <laughs> wrong. <laughs> oh, I can prove oh. you wrong. I'll put it on an oscilloscope if you want. Aye. Right. Um, you'll, you'll see, and a, a lot of the, the newer ones, you'll see next to no voltage drop. But, but then in a lot of the MOSFETs, you shouldn't be going to maybe how you would like to vape anyway. Yeah. But uh, the, whole, the whole thing was that it's not necessarily the fault of the MOSFET. It can be the fault of, more often than not, it's the fault of, and I will say it, it's the fault of the modder. Right. Um, where they put the MOSFET in, have they coated the MOSFET? Is it the liquid proof? You know, all that kind of stuff. And and that was that was a good thing about that video. Is it Geeky Vape or mm. Geek Vape? I forget his name, sorry. Geek Vape um, Vapes. Yeah, yeah. Um, was that it basically he was saying that you know these MOSFETs when they're putting them in mods should be coated or they should be put in locations where if there is any spillage they're not getting coated in liquid and and I fully agree with that. Um, but a MOSFET is just a bit of a it's a electronic equipment. Yeah, it's yeah. electronic switch. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's also going to be relevant to the soldering as well and how good that job is and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot yep. to a lot to be involved with. But also a MOSFET on its own doesn't do it. It's you have to have little capacitors on there and things and stuff and so, you know, it's it's a it's a funny old thing. But no, I've not seen the uh, I've not seen the, the video. Um Right, what's this one? This one is um, own comforts, own comforts. Todd's Van Parker. Do you remember the name of the website of the guy who made custom leather mod cases many months ago? Um, 
the guy that I've had who made me a, an amazing wallet and I've had and he made me the door for my um, rig and hot sig little squonker and all that sort of stuff um, is Hart Leathercraft H-A-R-T Leathercraft and um, he's got a, uh, a, a Facebook page so if you find that it's got like a he has a stag as a logo so that's the guy that I've used have you have you um, got someone else Mr. T? Um, I I, I I got a little case from Stu at uh, Vape Smarter. Uh, I got a nice little battery case from him that he did in leather. That was really nice. Um, I just uh, who's the guy? The guy. Sorry, there's a guy that keeps posting a question that I was going to answer. Somebody was asking about what uh, Ingvar. I think it is. Todd, you don't like the 502 by Jay Hayes. Are you going to review the Jenna? Um, I preferred the 454. Uh, it, it suited the way I vaped better. It was more of a flavour chaser for me as opposed to the 502. And the Jenna, I doubt it very much. But um, there you go. Thought I should answer since you keep asking. There you go. Wallop. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Um, uh, Sasha asks, um, question for Mark, what cotton would you recommend for use in a Genesis atomizer? <laughs> Is this another time? <laughs> is he taking the piss? <laughs> that's a trick question. If that's a Sasha, I think it is. He's, oh, he is, yeah. Well, yeah, Genesis. Yeah, yeah. I, it took me a minute then. <laughs> he's, he's taking the piss. <laughs> uh, 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 the steel uh, kind. It's, um, there's, um, uh, God, someone can know I'm not going to, I was going to bin somebody there, but I won't. Um, in a, a true Genesis atomizer, you should not use cotton. There you go. It's as simple as that. There you go. Boof. Um, Todd uh, J. Jarry is asking, uh, what's the best ohms for a single coil for 60 to 80 watts for bottom airflow RTA? These questions kind of frustrate me a little bit because the, the resistance is is less of a thing than the the start the type of coil i think and it also depends on how you how you like to vape the resistance is important from a safety standpoint but um but you know it depends on the coil doesn't it yeah yeah totally it's, it's not yeah uh, oh it's um sorry but it's geek uh, geeky vapes that's the the name of the reviewer that did the video on um on the mosfets Excellent. um and, and I will also say uh, he did one video. The first video he did was on a, a MOSFET mod he had that had auto fire, caught fire and melted and whatnot. Right. Um, I would say that you should go and research the modder before you spend money on those kind of mods. If you had research, then you would know that that wouldn't be the first time that one had happened. Absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, there you go. Cool. Right. Um, Dave Ape is asking, um, please, could you recommend a 22 mil, uh, mil stainless steel mech? Now, the only, t I swear, the only 22 stainless mech that I've got is the old Phantom from years ago, um, but uh, which I still think is a fantastic little mech. But um, do you know of any? I don't know of any ones that have come out that aren't stupid money, but do you know of any 22 mil mechs? Um... Recently, yeah. Uh, no, I, I've do you know I've not had much in the way of mechs come my way. Twenty two mil. I mean, the last one was um, from Poland. The smart mods. Yeah, they smart weren't stainless mod. though, were they? No, no, you got a stainless one. Really? You got a stainless twenty two, and I think it was forty nine pounds posted from Poland, uh, and it was a really good little mech. Um, but I'll be. I've, Get on the classifieds and buy buy yourself an old mech. Yeah, you, you'll get them for buttons unless it's an eighteen three fifty because they go for silly money now. But yeah, um, yeah. If you can pick up one. you pick up an old um oh uh, 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 begins with N. Uh, <laughs> huh? No, then, I just like watching you suffer. Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, can't remember. <laughs> um, there is loads of stuff 
um, that I uh, I uh, have, have have got to get to. Richard Godley asks, um, how do I go about submitting a product to your reviewing? Um, just send me an email, info at vapingbiker.co.uk. Send me an, inf- uh, an email. Give me as much information as you can about the product, and I'll let you know whether I'll review it or not. Um, Sorry, but- I just want, um, um, just want to say a big thank you to Dan Smith, uh, who's in chat. Yes, Dan, I know about the mod. I was talking about ones I'd been sent for review, mate. Uh, and I used one of your coils in a review today. Thank you very, very much. Excellent. Sorry. Excellent. I've just scrolled all the way down to chat because I was way behind. <laughs> um, uh, Nemesis. Nemesis, Andrew. You're the first person I saw that said it, so you are my hero. Right for that. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> I've got one well, I've got one of them right there. Boink. Boof. And you found it and you switched for it the other day, didn't you? In the back of your shed? Oh no, I found uh, I found uh, actually it's sitting here. I found my, my hybrid top caps. My hybrid doodas mm. for my Nemi. Yeah. Um which is awesome. Um and you can still buy them. Excellent, excellent. Um, from Atmo Mechani. It took go. me six and a half years to learn how to say that properly. <laughs> David Mottram actually typed that in. If he's got that spelling right, I'll be very, very impressed. So good work, Mr. Mottram. Um, uh, Enrique is saying, um, oh, what program software did you use to design the Bassium, or would you recommend for someone interested in designing an RDA or mod? Welcome back, by the way. Always enjoy watching your channel. I used Tinkercad just because there's, I mean, I've also got things like Fusion 360 and what have you, but Tinkercad is so, so easy to use. I do it for all sorts. I use it for um, everything for designing mods through to, to when I moved around the studio to make it kind of give himself some more space and, and various things. I, I redesigned the room in Tinkercad first, so I could then place all the furniture in and all this sort of stuff crazy easy to use and really powerful for an online bit of software it's not something you download to your computer but definitely go and check that puppy out because that's really really handy um really good bit of software uh thug life here we go what we got going on here third time sorry if i missed you before um does a solid silver firing button and spring make a huge difference for the price um generally and i know i think mr t and i have slightly different opinions on this one generally um it it, it helps from a from a uh, from a cleaning point of view because the, st- the the silver is usually stays clean for a little bit longer than copper um but um it will depend on the rest of the switch enclosure and as much as how that that energy goes from that kind of contact through to everything else and then through the body of the mod so just because something's got a silver switch doesn't necessarily mean that it will be an amazing um hitter so to speak what 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 what, uh-huh. what? i like that david Mottram. he's a really funny guy he's a fucking <laughs> i've just seen it <laughs> oh i can't time out people now on i'm using a different chat window but there you go uh, I was going to say I was going to do 22 millimeter mix. I thought yes. show and tell. There we go. We have the oh, camera's going the on glass. Here. Oh we yeah, the glass. yeah. Lovely. You can pick the when you think these used to cost. Um, oh, Mr. Smithson or Paul might know because I think they were about 350 euros if I remember right. They but were you can big pick, money. You could pick them up for around the hundred pound mark now. Um, Michael, uh, no, that's Kuro Concepts. Um, I think if you email him, you might be able to get them. That's my all-time favourite mech. Uh, I think they were about the 80, 100. Um, Michael Coop Design. Um, you can still pick these up, but these are silly money. They're worth it. And an Amy. Yeah, and and yeah. guess who, guess who was, uh, wasn't using that section for a while? <laughs> Look at the colour. <laughs> Vadina much? <laughs> and um and and uh, a Nar Mods Trinity, which Excellent. is um like gold dust now. Excellent. Um The Kuro last- guy, that was the guy that had the the um um his coiling tools nicked, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. John. John from Kuro Concepts. So yeah, so those of you that use the uh 
things like these little coil. I mean, I use one just because I have one. I haven't got any of the uh, Kuro ones. Um, but um, the original ones of these were a, uh, a rip of... Oh, hang on. I'll put the, put the camera on you. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Boof. There we go. Those were the originals. I think I had one years ago when I very first started the channel. But, uh, but yeah, they're the, they're the real McCoys. So I think it's my, interesting my, my. because a lot of people that kind of go oh, and lose their shit, as, you know, we do. Um, we'll still use those Coil Master ones. But, um, you know, funny old game. Funny old game. Um, Mortram's at it. He's, and, and bloody, bloody Dino Knight. Fucking cheeky bastard. See, yeah, they all get after I said that he was the nicest person in vaping as well, Dean used an etch sketch for his design. Cheer. <laughs> so, if you see him, don't speak to him. <laughs> uh, um, right, Raj says, uh, Vaping Biker and Todd Review, any plans for more guest reviewers on Monday Night Live? Yes. Yes, there certainly could be, um, and that's uh, we can do we can do cool things, you see, because I can um, not only can I have a third camera, but I can also add a fourth one as well. Ooh, so we can have a kind of like a fair old mix of things going on, which could be pretty pretty sweet. So yes, there may well be. If there's anyone that you would like to see on here, um, then uh, then do let me know. Do let me know. I'm not saying that I'm going to ask everybody. Um, but, uh, you know, you never know. Uh, what else have we got now then? Uh, I've got a, 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 an answer for Alpha. Alpha, can you tell me a good e-juice uh, brand that can be sent to Portugal? I've just the thing for you. You need this in your life, especially if you're from Portugal. There we go. Nata. Nata. It's Portuguese custard tart. And it's just like the real thing. There you go. Boom. There you go. <laughs> so hopefully that answers that one for you, Alpha. Um, Vape and Biker, love you, matey. Don't, don't, don't try and, don't try and creep round me now. <laughs> He's still lovely, bless him. Um, funnily enough, I said Edge Sketch in uh, in a review that's going to be coming up shortly. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, James McDonald would like to see Mooch on here. That'd be cool. Get Mooch on, have a little bit of a chat about batteries and stuff. Uh, it's quite cool that I don't know if anybody has seen. I'm sure people have, but um, go and check out his channel because he's been doing some more mech testing as well. Um, so uh, it's nice to see from a really kind of more of a scientific standpoint what's going on about heat generation and, and, and voltage and things and stuff and clever things. Um, clearly, clearly he decided that he had to copy me for doing testing <laughs> <Not really. laughs> um, but no there we go um raj says bogan that would be cool uh barry says kylie minogue would be nice i wouldn't mind kylie coming on um although what's the what's oh there's there's a c he's all gone tits on it there's there's a, a, a dark-haired lady pop star that vapes yeah no <laughs> she did that, that she did that um single where she had the cupcakes on her boobs <laughs> are you sure are you sure we're talking about a pop star here yes but she vapes whoever that was <laughs> <laughs> i do i, I, I yeah anyway I've, there's there's other people that i've been trying to get on that are not vape reviewers but they do vape and uh, I've had zero luck on that at the moment, but I'm still working on it. You never know. Uh, <clears throat> right. Um, uh, I, I would go for. I would love to get. I would love to see Mottram in this, just so I could rip the piss out of him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. <laughs> oh, Katy Perry. Was it Katy Perry? That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. She vapes. That's um, who? Who got that? Mark Hallmark. Oh, 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 Dimitri and Phil. Oh, Dimitri and Phil, you wouldn't get a fucking one. <sighs> no, Anyways. No, not a, not no, a sausage. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely it's people, like a, but my God, they talk. <laughs> oh, a, pair of, a pair of old sweetie wives. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be all dick jokes and farts. <laughs> and sketches. <laughs> Steve, 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 are you in? Gla Steve, uh, sorry, Steve stays in uh, my old hometown, Oban. 
I didn't realise you were a Glaswegian. I didn't realise you were a Ouija. Sorry, I should say. Um, <laughs> Um, Steve Clark says just bought myself a V-God Elite Mech for 40 quid well there you go good stuff from their website uh, I did the, the Elite one was like the, the, the bulbous penis one wasn't it it was, uh, it was a kind of the weird shape one I never got one of those never tried one of those but for 40 quid that sounds like a bargain because V-God generally is super expensive um, but there we go Snoop Dogg says Richard Whittle <laughs> don't I think just... he'd be vaping the same as us to be honest but you know that'd be cool <laughs> No, I doubt that very, very much. Uh. <laughs> um, right, unless there's any more questions going on with, with chat, then um, I think we're going to be drawing to a close. But um, I've had a little bit of a fanny around with the old with the old um, technological side of things. I did do a dry run for the patrons, and it all worked brilliantly. So doing it um, doing it uh, <laughs> live. Did not anticipate any issues. I was wrong. <laughs> but I haven't had any cameras drop out completely. So, you know, that's that's got to be a positive thing, eh? <laughs> for, for, a, for, for a first go, you did not bad. Uh, you did not bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do like this split screen thing as well, just because you can't kind of wander off into your own little world and just start daydreaming and thinking about you know, whatever else, without people being able to see you. So it, that, um, that, it, that, it, that it really has bothered me because normally I just I go and play with the dog for 15 minutes or just go and cut the grass while you're talking. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Kevin Smith says, My noisy cricket is too rowdy. Used a coil build, Grim Green suggested... Uh, no change could be could my batteries be the issue it's not like it's, no, it's not going to be your batteries being the issue for being too rowdy it's going to be the type of coil you're going if you're going to be using a, um, a series mod i would go for like 0 0.45 0 0.5 canthal build so uh, i don't know eight wraps nine wraps of canthal maybe 24 gauge um, that 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 should, I imagine, come up with a reasonably dis decent resistance, and because it's canthal, it would take and a nice thick canthal. It would take a while to warm up as well. So that's something something like that is probably what I'd what I'd probably go with. Um, but uh, but give it a blast, see what you think. Um, a fat fat guy vapes, um, which is um, that's a great name. Why didn't I get that one? Uh, that that's he's going to ask him. What do we think about uh, Mex becoming more affordable? Um, awesome! <laughs> awesome! I think uh, we had a we had an issue a while ago, didn't we? When we when that first noisy cricket came out, we had a bit of an issue because people didn't know how to use series. They didn't use, know how to use unregulated, and it was so cheap that loads of people rushed out and bought it without knowing what they should be doing. Um, but for, for, for mechs, I would like to see you, that Phantom I mentioned earlier on from Watofo. I thought that was so good because you had the hybrid top cap and you had a normal pin top cap um, in there if you wanted to use it. And I thought that was a really bloody good idea. I would love to see that come back a little bit more. Yeah. It's, the, the strange thing is, it's, it's, they've not j just been an influx of affordable mods. I mean, this happens every couple of years. I mean, I remember 2012, 14, the, no, you know, you had like the Magneto, it came out, it was, you had all the Segele, dirt cheap mods, make mods, it's, so it's, it's nothing new, it's, and it's never the fault of the mod, yeah. if there's an issue, it's just lack of education. Absolutely. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, luckily, we are getting a lot more RDAs now with nice extended 510 pins as well. Not enough. I've had some in of late that haven't had pins as long as I would like to see, to be honest with you. Um, but we are getting more of those coming through as the norm rather than like two years ago. We'd have to highlight if a pin was kind of sunk into the RDA or if it was, you know, really fully extended or not. Um, and uh, and now a lot more are, are, are kind of extended. Most of them, I think, are, which is which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, Shoestring Tom says, what do you think of variable voltage mods with basic safety features? I don't quite understand. No, what, any no. variable voltage will have will have safety features. I don't know any variable voltage, even PWM mods. Oh, no. 
PWA. No. Well, even then, it kind of they have like amp cutoffs and all that sort of stuff, maybe. Yeah. Mm. I don't quite don't quite understand the question. No. Please elaborate. Yes. Yes. Please. please or do. or email uh, Dean at Vapen Baker, <laughs> and uh, he'll get back to you really quickly. Or join Todd's group, and he'll. Uh, in fact, everyone should go and join Todd's group anyway, just because it's it's a nice no, friendly group. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, right, Enrique says, um, "What would you recommend as a good, dependable sidecar mod? Looking for something to match my K Fun Five? Not entirely sure if you mean sidecar mod." Oh yeah, no! Wait, yeah. yes, like a, a, one of those jobbies where you pop your your your, your thing inside the side of it. Gotcha. With you. Yes. Carry on. Uh, sorry, how did that go again? Would you like to describe what a sidecar mod is again? <laughs> one of the mods with a cage. A cage. Yeah, there we go. One of those jobbies. <laughs> <laughs> the cage stuff. There was a load of those at one point in time, but I found them generally to be a little bit annoying because because when you held the mod, you were cutting off the airflow. Uh, no, I never had that. I mean, Chris, they've been going back. I mean, you had the, all the mechs, you had the Katos and uh, the Gizmos, and uh, there's been minions. There's, there's been so many of them. I think there was a what a recent one was it the Wizard or something? I think there it was, was called one recently. Yes, I think uh, it's on twenty five mil. Is it on Vape uh, Geek's website? Might be uh, that, that. I think. Ah, uh, I know Tim Hull was looking for one for ages, uh, but that was yeah, that was a cage side by side. But mm. um, yeah, it's been around for a long time. Yeah, I'm know. pretty sure if you look on Vape Geek, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had one. In fact, in fact, do you know what? I might be. I, I might. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, things, oh, oh. things are things are going to get technical now. Oh, this episode is not sponsored by Vape Geek, but. If it works, then you know it's another it's another thing, isn't it? Um, all right, hold you on a tick because if I do oh, that, oh, the, mic, the, mic, the micro stick, yes, the micro stick, or the t- yeah, as Ian says, the tosser stick. That was a popular one. Oh, there we go. Look, boom. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Chris, I'm, oh, um, you can't see, but I uh, <clears throat> vapegeek.co.uk is it? Oh, Guybrush has got The Witcher. That was the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the one. Ah, there we go. I'm just going on to uh, I'm just going on to the website now, but it's taking forever to load up. Uh, I've got. Uh, I'm I'm going to be polite. This is um, Tech uh, Dark Gaming says uh, I ordered the Smock Eprov kit two days ago. I wondered if you would recommend it. You've already bought it, my son. It's too late now. Yeah, <laughs> game over. Late. Game over. Thanks for playing. Um, this this once again is taking far too long, but hopefully the payoff is. Clear. Oh, this Defcon thing. That was the one that they've got. So that's a that's a side by side anyway. So that's a thing. If that sort of thing tickles you, tickles your taste buds. Uh, it, it was the, yeah, it was the Witcher. I'm really sure, sure it was the Witcher. Yeah, there was a Witcher, absolutely. <clears throat> yes, you, right. Darren says you're just you're just hub. oh there's there you go there's Defcon you're just showing off your new toy, aren't you? Yeah. Look look what I can do. Very much so. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. <laughs> um, Oh dear! Right, uh, Vapor Biker DNA sixty billet box thoughts. Never had one, uh, Mister Hewitt. I, I kind of wanted a billet box just to see what they were like, but uh, I've never had one. Never really been that excited about them enough to go and buy one. I'm sure it would be something I'd try and then get bored of very very quickly. So uh, no, never had one. Todd's had one. I've had many. You've had many. There we go. Yes. Um, is there any way? asks Madid Judge um, to get a cool yet flavourful vape. I'm missing hookah. Um, uh, with that, the smoke is pretty cool. Um, it's going to be down to, 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 the, to get a big atomizer, a big atomizer with small coils, get loads of air in there and, uh, and uh, that'll cool it right down. And also, don't put a million watts through it. So there you go. But your juice is going to be very, very, 
relevant on that as well. What? 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 Speaking about speaking about hookers. Yes. Oh, uh, that thing. That <laughs> fucking. Oh. Yeah, go on. Uh, talk, you talk about it. They're coming from. Uh, we we are going to sell. Uh, is it Smoant? No, is it? It's someone like that, isn't it? Somebody like Smoant. They've got the. So it's you, you've probably all seen it. It's a normal mod, and it's got a tank. But then it's got a tank that sits on top of it that you fill with liquid, as in Coca Cola, Pepsi, Iron Brew, whatever. Yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if it's working on the same principle as a hookah. I think they are. Because there was one a while ago that did a similar sort of thing. Um, so, <laughs> no. And no, I think not. it's the stupidest idea ever, because people are going to see it and go, oh, well, I can just vape Coke. Yeah. Cool if you could. Anyway, um, uh, hookah, <laughs> not hookers. <laughs> and, yeah, it is Samoan, according to people in the chat. Um Here's an, here's another uh, question, which I think is a good one. We're trying to go look, but but you keep asking good questions. Um, your thoughts on Argos selling vape stuff? It's, it's no different to Tesco selling it. True. Or Asda, or I mean, you can buy. I mean, I was in. I, actually, I got dragged to the shops on Sunday there, and for the first time ever, the the vape gear counter is actually bigger than the tobacco counter. Is it really? Yeah, it, it was insane. It's it's all one big counter, but the it's got two distinct signs. But the electronic cigarette one was bigger. Uh, it's crazy, uh, but yeah, I don't see the distinct. I don't see the difference myself. But yeah, uh, whichever companies have got in there, that's that's you know that's some hellish marketing. Those sales guys must have got into the boardroom and gone. Do you know what? Yeah, I sold, I sold, uh, I sold uh, twenty mods to uh, to the vape shop down the road, and then old Johnny walks in and goes, <laughs> "Well, funny you should say that. I've just sold two hundred and fifty thousand mods to Tesco's. How do you like those apples?" It's feeling yeah. Um, but there you go. Anyway, I think we are probably good. I think we're probably good now. To be honest with you. Um, I was referring to potentiometer mods. Yeah, PWMs generally with potentiometers, um, shoestring Tom. Um, they A lot of the time, depending on how they're made, they should. I mean, every potentiometer mod that I've made has always had fuses in it or, or some levels of safety in it. So um, I th have I had one? I had one. I had, a, I had a mod by an English guy who doesn't make mods anymore, um, that just started auto-firing on my desk when I was when I was at work a while ago. Um, I can't remember if that was a potentiometer, if that was a PWM, or, or if it was just a series. I think it was just a series. I can't remember. Um, but no, uh, I don't know. I think, really, you should get a certain level of protection if you're, if you're going for one of those. But if you're going for a potentiometer, there is usually a, an amp limit that you have to adhere to. And uh, you have to know your stuff about those. They're not quite the same as a fully regulated, you know, kind of modern mod, if you like. A mod mod. Um, right, Cuz Steve, look, he's in chat. That's Hart Leathercraft right there. We talked about him earlier on. Go and see him for all your leatherwork needs, because they're marvellous. Um, right, can you vape scotch? No, I've asked him, and he won't fit in my tank. <laughs> <laughs> right i think we're done now i think we're just we're just drawing it out unnecessarily <laughs> so but we but we got, we're gonna cloud properly because there's two of us on screen oh <laughs> oh my <laughs> so giving you a warning on that one um Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me um, over the last month or so when things have been sporadic at best. Uh, I do very much appreciate it. Uh, like I said earlier, I can't promise that I'm going to have that kind of consistency that I would like to do, but I'm certainly, certainly going to try. Keep your eyes open tomorrow for the for the uh, review for this, uh, the Purge Slam piece, because I'm I think it's going to be quite a cool video when it's done. Um, and uh, and jobs are good. Oh, hang on. Look, Paul Sykes says I'm going to answer this just because it's it's, it's a nice uh, question. 
Are you planning (laughs) anything special for your 100,000 subs once you get there? Well, I've only got 28,500 or something to do. 28,500 to get to 100K. So uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I think it's going to be another year or so yet. So we'll 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 worry about it then. I don't think I've got to. I don't think I've got to stress too heavily about that in the very near future. But yeah, uh, but, you, may, you, may, you may get a couple of reviews in by then. <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there might be a. Uh, there, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. But um, no, everyone's a winner. Thank you again for for supporting me, sticking with the channel, staying subscribed. Uh, if you do like this, if you like the Monday Night Live, and if you like this new camera situation thing going on, hit that likes button, smash it if you will. If I just stole Peter McKinnon there, um, but uh, but uh, yeah, give it some of those apples. Make sure that you subscribe to me and Mr. Todd, and uh, leave your comments down below in the comments section if you have any, and uh, I will certainly do my level best to answer them. I do try to answer them. I've not been when I've been when I was off when I was ill. I didn't really look at anything to do with YouTube, so I didn't really answer. Or any any comments but i'll, I'll uh, get back to that one there's also vapenbiker.co.uk and uh, on there at the moment is still the in the merchandise shop there is a um safe place shirt for those people that get offended <laughs> <laughs> or as a as a message to people that get offended because the review isn't the same as theirs uh but uh but there we go i think that's about it anything you want to finish with oh there we go look and you can get your special limited edition uh, dish towels as well, um, which uh, <laughs> every, everybody should have. Everybody should have. <laughs> I'm not selling those. I might do. <laughs> just, just, oh, please do it. was narcissistic enough for me to send it to you for your birthday, but to actually <laughs> sell one with all those faces, <laughs> you know, that would be another level. Right. Good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. You're all a bunch of superstars in my book. Thank you so much to my patrons for sticking with me as well. That's been amazing. If you do want to support the channel, head across to um, there's a link actually in the description. Um, but uh, there's a little thingy on the on the on the, the the banner of the channel as well. Or just go to patreon.com patreon.com uh, forward slash vape and biker, I think it is. And uh, there we go. Jobs are good. Right. We're all. Hey, I, I, I would just like to thank my mum for oh. watching all my videos. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> right. We will. Uh, we will see you all very very soon. Keep a lookout for tomorrow. But for tonight, have it. Lo- oh, I've, got to, I've got to say it and then breathe it in. Ask yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Hang on. Right, hey. hold on. You can't fast forward. When you're doing a review, you can just fast forward the in to in But anyway, go on. Just get on with it. Hey, go. I wasn't ready. Hang on. I wasn't ready. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. So long. <laughs> I have waited to do that. <laughs> Bellend. That's so long. <laughs> right, come on then. This Let's time, go. do it properly. Right. <laughs> have it larger.